Hello everybody, this is Spirelli and welcome back to Disco Elysium. So we have to level an IG star that when you level the different skills they have a maximum option to go for. So for example, last time I went for a spree decor and I can't go any further. I've been like I've filled up all the points. So this could eventually go up to 10. These can only go up to like three. No, this could even go up to eleven. So basically, what you what your bane stats are really indicate what you're good at. So I think I should maybe level up conceptualization or encyclopedia because those are my best skills. Understand creativity, see art in the world. Yeah, let's let's do that. Accept. And then, yep. Where did we want to go? Talk to this nice lady, robot in hand. Hello again, sweetie. I see you've met up with your colleague. She looks at the lieutenant. The lieutenant, the lieutenant nods, politely. nods politely. Ooh. Wait, who's sweetie? Who's sweetie? Why, you are, officer. <laughs> Maybe I am. And have you found anyone to be sweet to? She smiles conspiratorially. <sighs> I don't really want to talk about that right now. I'm sorry if I was being overly familiar. I, I know we've only just met. You must forgive me. I'm getting so scatterbrained. I completely forgot to introduce myself. She slaps herself on the forehead. I'm Lena. My husband Morel and I are staying with our friend Gary just down the street, but I come here for tea when they're away. Her eyes clear over the rings of her glasses as she looks up, smiling. This Lena is wacky enough for the Motley crew. Hire her on the spot. Um, sweetie needs money. Do sweeties get money? Oh, sweetie, I heard your conversation with the manager about your financial troubles. When do you get your next paycheck? What? What's a paycheck? I haven't seen any paychecks. You must be joking. Although our pay does sometimes feel like a joke. It's not easy to assert your right to a decent living wage when you don't have a strong union behind you. Maybe you should talk to Everard, the union leader. Interesting idea. This Everard sounds powerful. Maybe you can wrangle some coins out of his pocket. Right, let's change the subject. Oh no, I'm so sorry I don't have money for you. If, if there's anything else I can do for you, just ask. Uh, how did you like to roll with me? Whatever do you mean? Uh, nothing. I was thinking of the lyrics to a song. Wanna roll with me? Ah, yes. Probably Roll With Me by the Fletchers. People often quote the Fletchers at me. Morel says it's my theme song. I don't want to admit that I don't know what I'm doing when I'm... I'm, I'm, I'm a police officer. Uh, you seem to be in a chair. Yes, dear. Uh, I'm a paraplegic. A paraplegic? is someone with limited or no ability to use the lower half of their body. Paraplegia is caused by spinal cord injuries, like falling from a great height, or a grenade explosion. Thanks for clearing that up for me. Let's move on. No problem. She not smiling up at you from behind her glasses. I've got to get going now. Of course, dear. Good luck with your case. She gives you a small wave. Okay. Nice lady. Where are we gonna go? I need to get the corpse down, which I can't really do. I need to call my precinct and have them laugh at me, which I don't really want to do. But eventually I need to. Uh, no, I'm just gonna... You know what? I want to follow those, those car... Says the car went somewhere. And uh, I want to check where. 
An ancient fountain. It doesn't pump water anymore. There's a tree in it. Tire tracks leading onto the roof. Slush and rain has almost washed them off. Okay. So I'm on the right track here. You know what I've got here? Oh, I have to walk around. What's this? Could you could you move? Uh oh health item. Healing item. Hey, more trash cans. Rice pawn shop for fast cash for faster times. I guess I want to go in there. I see so many balls, but I don't have a way of picking them up. Water lock out of order until Wednesday, 7.15. Cool. And what do we have? Fingerless clubs. Didn't even need to break in. Just have them. So, oops. Uh, these give me electrochemistry, whereas these give me interfacing. And since I don't really know which one of those I'll be needing anytime soon, it's here. Butter sign down. Yeah, this is just a bridge. Let me just get a get a good look at the area. A helpline to the company that controls the trap bridge. Plastic wrap macar macaroni stamped with humanitarian aid. What? It says food gift from the people of Messina. It says humanitarian aid tuna fish, not for resale. It says speakers from the people of Samara. Aha. Uh -huh. You see a Samaran street vendor surrounded by a motley assemblage of goods. When he realizes you're looking at him, his face breaks into a wide, welcoming grin. The name Sile is embroidered over his breast pocket. Happy shopping, officer. Everything's cool here. He gives you a thumbs up. What's so cool? Everything's cool. The goods are cool. The customers are cool. The place is cool. And one more thing, officer, you're very cool. He makes both bang, 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 bang. <laughs> he makes both hands into finger pistons, fires a few finger bullets into the air. You feel a twitch in your index fingers. There's a finger shootout of brewing. No, no, it's a safety hazard. What? No finger pistols, officer? Pew pew! <sighs> I'm not here to play with finger pistols. I'm here on official business. Actually, I'm here to get some money from you, hopefully. The lieutenant nods approvingly. You're right, officer. One hundred percent. No playing around then. Strictly business. Maybe I can interest you in some premium menswear instead. The food packages you're selling have humanitarian eight written on them. How come? You mean these delicious pre-packaged shelf-stable meal kits? Really easy to cook. No hassle, really cheap too. Buy some, try them out. No hassle. There's a little of a hassle here, it appears. A moral hassle. I think one said not for resale on the packaging. No problem here, officer. I get all this from one of my suppliers. An extremely reputable guy. And who is your supplier exactly? Oh, he's a good guy. I think you'd get along. I'll let you know the next time he's around. Interesting. Where are you from, Siang? Me? It's a boring story, officer. Who cares about the past? I'm all business now. All Revachol. This man probably comes from Seagai, sometimes known as the Apricot Suzerainty, an archipelago in the Samaran Isola. You're from the Apricot Suzerainty, right? Apricot Suzerainty calls to mind an era when the Seagai archipelago was colonized by Revachol. It's a bit of a slur, in other words. Oops. <sighs> uh, I mean, 
I said it, there's no no need to be like, actually, that's uh, don't fret, let him answer. That's right, officer. But it's a bad scene for business there. Too many regulations. Extremely bad for an independent local entrepreneur. Hey, why not support this local entrepreneur? You can start by buying a pair of sexy pants or cool sunglasses. Maybe some macaroni. So what kind of stuff are you selling here? Only the coolest goods in Revashal. I've got sneakers, speakers, extremely comfy pants too. Try them on right here. No shame, only freedom. Do you have a permit to sell all that? Good joke, officer. <laughs> here we don't have permits. Just economic freedom. Take a look around. You glance around at the crepit buildings, the miserable weather, the sidewalk strewn with sunflower seeds and a dust-choked air. It's beautiful. Beautiful freedom. Kim, is it true he doesn't need a permit to sell? It is, yes. Anyone can set up their shop whenever they feel like it. That's right. No permits, no bureaucracy. That's why this city and its law officials are so cool. Wait, but what are we doing here if there are no permits? Look at Kim and the police insignia on his sleeve. If you wanted to be cynical about it, you could say we are here to protect the interests of property holders. I am not, however. My man, officer, you make all this possible. Without you, this climate would be extremely bad for business. You're part of the Gossamer state. Gossamer is a fine, filmy substance consisting of cobwebs spun by small spiders seen especially in autumn it's safe to say he's referring to the near absence of regulations so cool guys protect businessmen while everyone else lives in the ruins i can think of cooler things yeah cool ruins i get to sell quality goods like these by cutting out the middlemen you don't have to rebuild your house live in a crater or in a tree where can you do that only here. You're pretty sure you can live in a tree elsewhere too. But he wouldn't believe it anyway. Where'd you get those comfy pants? I'm an entrepreneur, officer. I've got sources, buyers, suppliers, distributors, manufacturers, wholesalers. All extremely cool and above board. Okay, that's all then. Let me ask you something else. Anything for you. Okay. Persuade him to give you some money. Start with a little compliment, then work your way up from there. This is about business, remember. <laughs> hey, you seem like a really cool... Oh, sorry. Cool is his part. You seem like a really successful entrepreneur. Would you like to support a member of the local police force? Oh, okay. But why, officer? Think of it as an investment. An investment? What kind of investment? I'm a policeman. It's an investment in good relations with the RCM. I hear you, officer. What kind of a sum are we talking about here? Well, I'm not going to get a million, so ten. Sounds like a fair deal all around. Takes a ten note from a leather pouch. Corruption. Uh, look around, thanks. I mean, that's not really what I wanted to do. I wanted to... To write. It's the ledger you found in the trash. A cabbage of papers hanging from the board. With the permeables drawer inside. It's thin, see-through copy of paper. A misconduct a monetary, fine. But they appear. The rest of the stinking cellulose is much it, worse. Right. That's what I was afraid of. Oops. Because I really wanted to... There's a pile of cheap sunglasses in a small box. A variety of shapes and colors. You like sunglasses, officer? I've got the latest styles right here. Stylish shades, huh? They'd be even more stylish if you paid for them with net worth. Go over and ask him. A rummage for the box. These are all boring. Boring third-rate ho-hum sunglasses made of cheap Sirais plastic. 
the kind of plastic that melts in the sun. That's not good for some classes. Those UV stickers are almost certainly just there for the show. If anything, these lenses probably direct more UV light into your pupils. A UV magnifier. These are all first-rate sunglasses. Premium design, super material, very cool. UV resistant. These will definitely keep your eyes safe and cool while doing your dangerous police work. Okay, I'm good at conceptualization, so let's try again. Maybe find something that's cool. No luck. No. All you find is this lime-colored cellophane visor produced by a bargain sportswear brand called Amphibian, apparently. There's a malformed green frog on its bent cap. Oh, that visor is perfect for you, officer. It'll definitely keep the sun out of your eyes while you're shooting criminals. Bang, bang! And all for a mere six real. Hey, at least it might actually offer some protection against the sun. Not like those cheap plastic shades. Kim, I five fight something you should be prepared for. I hope not. He says, looking at from his browsing. You don't like it? Sure, Square Joe. No problem. Let's get you some real shades. Nah, leave for now. Where are the other things I could interact with? You see two lowly, defeated speakers. Thralls. Slaves, basically. Perched atop them like conquerors surveying the land. A pair of found, durable wear sneakers. Ultra serious. I can see you were tasteful luxury officer. Can't keep your eyes off those sneakers? Speaking of luxury, you should go over and ask about paying for those sneakers with your net worth. Inspect the sneakers. A pair of found ultras. The design is impossibly sleek and simple. A futuristic silhouette with a sleek monochrome colorway, a jet black upper, and a silver lined midsole. Those sneakers, mister. Those sneakers are the latest found sneakers. Super air, super fine, super cool. Only 50 real. I, I want more money from you, dude. Only? That's madness. Fun ultra. We're the future. You remember the slogan from some magazine. Inspect the speakers. These once respectable speakers have been conquered, reduced to a mere prop by the indomitable found ultras atop them. A small heat emboss on the veneer reads, Solidarity aid from the People's Republic of Samara. The speakers themselves don't seem to display any magical qualities. No, no, don't look at the speakers, officer. Look at the sneakers. The sneakers are the stars here. Poor little speakers, pet them. No, don't pity them, officer. These are old Samaran garbage. Don't even look at them. Check out these super cool, fun ultras instead. I wonder how many things I can pet. Samaran trash. That sounds like they're from the Samaran People's Republic, produced under the dictatorship of the proletariat. Can't I just buy the sad, conquered Samaran speakers? No way, officer! These aren't for sale. They're bad speakers. Lo-fi socialist junk. That's why I want them. I think I might be lo-fi socialist junk myself. No, officer. You're a high-class policeman who accepts nothing less than the best. Lucky for you, I've got the best on sale. You don't know what I am. I don't even know it myself. I want the speakers. Well, if you want them... He pauses for a moment, calculating. But see, they are the pedestal for my sneakers. If I let go of the speakers, where will the sneakers go? I can't leave premium lifestyle sneakers on the ground. If, on the other hand, you wanted to buy the sneakers too, I could maybe throw in the speakers for a little extra. 50 cents? Damn. So you have to buy the sneakers first. Nope, not happening. What's this then? There are clothes inside. Cheap second-hand clothes. Smelling of strangers' body odors. Don't be shy. These are premium class clothes. Good quality fabrics. Best retro designs. Save the economy with your style, officer. How about some premium class service over here? Like paying with net worth. 
Go over and ask him if you can do that. Okay, I really need to do that. Save the economy. That sounds off. Save the economy? What are you talking about? Haven't you heard, officer? We've got to be economically conscious. Recycle your cash, keep it in circulation. Don't buy new things. Buy eco. This doesn't make sense. Why exactly does the economy need saving? Look around, officer. You see all these premium goods just sitting there, not getting bought? We've got to keep the flow of goods moving. Is this really the economy we want to leave to our children? Uh, it's just nature. Powerful economies expand, weak economies go extinct. I can't go extinct, officer. I've got kids to feed. Once an economy goes extinct, it messes up the whole ecosystem. You've got to think about the consequences. Okay, press through the box. You find your hands deep in tattered and faded garments made from weird polyester blends that make your body itch and sweat in all the wrong places. The box smells like cat piss or like an old person with no money. Economical, but also trendy. Look first hand, buy second hand. Keep the economy moving. Okay, find something worth salvaging from that pile of wrecks. Something cold grazes your hand. Synthetic and sleek, a windbreaker. Surf, it says, but also wind, summer. 100% waterproof and sport all in different typefaces good choice officer mega sporty and it's only 450 for you sir okay so let's see whether I can get it any other way everything's still cool here officer um... you mean these del no hassle there's a little of a hassle here it appears a moral hassle Okay, let me let me see whether I can get more money out of him. Uh, doesn't that be the idea of humanitarian aid? It's supposed to be free. That's what makes it humanitarian. It is practically free. Yours for five cents a piece. Rock that tuna. Why not some macaroni too? Don't play games with me, Hawker. What's going on? No problem here, officer. I get all this from one of my suppliers. Okay, and we've been there. Oh, Interesting. Yeah, okay. So I don't think there's anything else for me to do here right now. Unfortunate. Does it continue over here? Yes, it does. Hot air rises up from the sewer. Sour, acidic, and strangely comforting. Things you're into. Guess this is it. Yep. This is as far as it goes, apparently. Oh, I was hoping to hand out like a fine to him and not just get 10 real. Goods from the lorry haphazardly half littered the surroundings. This is the frit thing we need to go there. Store. Classy magazine, most able bodied man. This issue hosts a top 10 list. Jump Jumps, a popular music mag. But yeah, let's go here. Frit. Three T's, how idiomatic. Let's see what they got in store. Because this is where you can say bottles to make money. But I'm going at a really slow pace with the money. So I really need to like collect some finds. Yellow roses, dozen of them, tulips too. A melancholy pop song based on the radio. You see several packaged raincoats fill a low shelf beneath a display of croissants and juice bottles. The raincoats are transparent, except for the big Fritta slogan on the back. The packages are small, discreet, Sloppily stacked, making them easier to take unnoticed. No need to worry about knocking over a display. What's that? Pointed raincoat. What is what? Um, it's a raincoat. If you want to buy one, then it's only four real. 
She taps on a glass counter with a raincoat of patient near my purchase. Her attention is drawn to the raincoats. Stealing one undetected will now be more difficult. Yeah. The tear machine stands in the corner. A sign says, one bottle equals ten cents. Oof. Hmm? Oh, that's the tear machine. Yeah, but what is it? It's a machine for tear. You know, you find tear outside, like bottles or whatever, and put it in the machine, then it gives you money. I see, and how do I pick up tear for the tear machine? You need a bag, I guess. We used to have some, but we gave them all out, so... Oh, she shrugs awkwardly. Feel free to use it if you find a bag, though. I'm sure there are some out there. Somewhere. Okay. Ah. Then there's really not much for me to do here right now. Because I really don't want to spend money. What am I going to do? Maybe I'm just not going to pay, but where am I going to stay? Because I don't remember where I live. And I haven't found out so far. Oh, there we go. Something. Uh -huh. So many people to talk to. Stitch magnesium. Wonderful. You know what? But instead of talking to somebody, I will just read another one of my files. It's the ledger you found in it. It takes about half an hour to piece one together. Okay. Using the system you've devised. Couch in an want? unexpected location. Some assholes brought their couch outside and hung out on it. In the middle of the street, on the roof, on the hillside by the motorway. You know, at an unexpected location. They were young and they thought they looked cool on it. Well, they actually looked like assholes. She's not moist. Insufferable dicks, young people at the worst. So anyway, you gotta complain about the damn sofa, or couch, or whatever it was. They were leaving it out in all these unexpected and whimsical locations. They took it, too, where they also took photos of themselves on it, and smoked cigarettes, because they felt it's intellectual. Cigarette butts, coffee cups, stupid couch. You had to clean it all up, and you did. So congratulations to you. Case solved. Did I ever catch those guys? No, you didn't have time for that. These notes show that you have what is called a real goddamn job. <laughs> you don't have time to be chasing down the couch assholes. You have a real job to do. What next? Not okay. much. Is so it looks like I do have time to talk to somebody. Hey there. Welcome to Ivashol. His name is Racist Lloyd. Oh, it's not his name. It's like his description is Racist Lloyd. I was like, his name is Racist, whatever his name is. But no, it's a Racist Lloyd driver. Announces the Rutland men. The mark is not addressed to you. It's addressed to the lieutenant. Why are you addressing my partner like that? Don't you welcome to Ravashol me. My grandfather came here from a 3,000 year old racist isolationist culture, while your ancestors came to this island a mere 300 years ago. Every school of thought and government has failed in the city, but I love it nonetheless. It belongs to me as much as it belongs to you. You tell him. It's men like you who keep Revachol divided, making it that much harder for everyone to climb out of this post war limbo. What he means is. Fixation on the Revisholian nation makes it harder for Revishol to actually attain self-determination. He's right. You're undermining our best of real self-determination. Oh, come on, man. I just said, uh, welcome to Revishol. Uh, it's a lorry driver thing. I know exactly what you meant. You think my kind doesn't belong here. That I should watch myself and behave. But you see, I'm an officer of the RCN. It's actually my job to make sure you behave. I would advise you to remember that. Uh-huh. Silence. The air between them becomes tense. Your partner needs backup. Now's your moment to shine. Fine. 
Fun, a eh, Kim? I've got your back. Give the lieutenant a punch on the shoulder. You do make a cute couple. You know that. The lorman spits. The lieutenant exhales and resumes his regular calmness. Now that's settled. We have a couple of questions. Whatever you say, officers. He waits impassively, cigarette smoldering between his fingers. He smells of heavy motor oils and his breath of high tar content cigarettes, probably Astra Whites. What are you hauling? Oh, not much anymore. I'm here to pick up some cargo, but uh, the dock workers are on strike, so uh, it's a sit and wait on your ass situation. What kind of cargo is supposed to pick up? Apples. Apples is exactly the kind of thing you'd say if you had something to hide. Sounds like a cover story to me. Look, as detective, I come from a long line of lorry men. We got ancient rights and privileges. He loses his patience for explaining it. Oh, I'm here to pick up a load of fucking apples, man. Just regular Koiko picked apples. Koiko may be another derogative for a person from Grad, you think? Oh, so they grow apples in Grad? Yep, it's one of their main exports. They grow them down South Yekokata, a beautiful place. Got great scenic vistas. In fact, Yekokata is a desolate wasteland whose name literally translates to Zone of Ecological Catastrophe. It features no scenic vistas and supports virtually no plant or animal life. Yekokata is not in South and they definitely don't grow apples there. Yeah? Says who? It's lower in the name, Zone of Ecological Catastrophe. Then, I guess they grow apples somewhere else. You can never really tell with those koikos. They are everywhere, except their own homes. He keeps saying koikos. What does that actually mean? He means the people living in Grad. Yeah, you know, Gradniks, Gradvolk, those degenerates from Grad. Okay, so it's an ethnic slur. Hey, if the name and description fit by the very grace of nature, who am I to say otherwise? So can I see the apples? Uh, did you miss the part where I said they aren't here yet? Besides, even if I did have some, I wouldn't go putting my nose in them, huh? He looks at you with a strange glint in his eyes. Relax. You've got all you can get here. He probably doesn't even know what he's hauling, even if it is something unsavory. So he'd remain unaccountable. He said something about the rights and privileges of lorry men. Oh yeah, they're a big deal. My great-grandfather was a carter, had a royal license and everything. We've tried to hold on to our privileges. Hold on, what's a carter? <laughs> Someone with a cart. What did you think it was? That's how deep into history our thing reaches, before machines. So he was a garbage man? Not at all. We are part of a guild and everything, huh? It's very ancient, very prestigious. So you're in a carter's guild? God damn right. They've been trying to fuck us out of our heritage in the name of profit. But when they try to replace us, They'll regret it. Huh. Trusting street thugs with their goods is going to fuck him right up the ass. Mark my words. Generations of practice and no laughing matter. Fun is marking the trash. Is it yours? <laughs> oh man. Oh man. That's great. Look at that guy go. I haven't seen anything that funny in a while. Is it yours? God damn. <laughs> Thanks for that, but no, it's not mine. He doesn't live in Martinez. Hmm. Well, we're done for now. Okay, I don't need to go into the argument. Anyway, this is it for now. I think we've lots to do, lots more cases, and I'll see you again in the next one.